It's the Daily Dog. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Daily Dog for another one of our Throwback Thursday episodes. Every week in 2023, this year, we are going to be releasing a previously recorded reaction that I uh, put forth to our Patreon community during uh, last year, during 2022. And so today, I am pleased to release my reaction to White Rabbit from Jefferson Airplane. I recorded this in late August of 2022 for our fan favorites episode number seven. And in that episode, I was simply just going through a whole bunch of our recommendations for songs for the Daily Doug that folks had put forward that had just not gotten on the channel. And so that was my uh, mechanism for, for getting myself in front of all of these great tunes. And so White Rabbit was one of them, and I am happy to share my reaction from August of 2022 with you now. To the shortest tune on our countdown, y'all, we go, uh, and it is White Rabbit by Jefferson Airplane. This song comes to us from uh, their second studio album called Surrealistic Pillow, and it was released in 1967. This was their first album with Grace Slick as vocalist and uh, with drummer Spencer Dryden. This is <clears throat> considered to be one of the important early examples of psychedelic rock as well as the uh, counterculture of the late 1960s. The song draws its inspiration from the Lewis Carroll books about Alice and her uh, adventures in Wonderland. <clears throat> it was written by Grace Slick while she was still with a band called The Great Society. She joined Jefferson Airplane when their singer um, had left the band after giving birth. So that's, that's interesting. Uh, about the song, uh, Grace said that the music was influenced uh, by the music of Miles Davis. And that's interesting to me. She says, quote, writing weird stuff about Alice backed by a dark Spanish march was in step with what was going on in San Francisco at that time. We were all trying to get as far away from the expected as possible. So in this instance, the white rabbit is a metaphor for a person's curiosity. Alice did not have her own Prince Charming to come and save her in, in, the, uh, in the stories, right? She was on her own in a strange place and she had to persevere and she had to rely on her, her instincts and follow her curiosity. And uh, feed your head is an encouragement then to read, to pay attention, to learn, as well as to occasionally imbibe in some psychedelics maybe. <laughs> but yeah, feed your head, uh, be like Alice and rely on your curiosity and follow that white rabbit, which is a metaphor for one's own curiosity, right? So off we go with white rabbit from Jefferson airplane. Here we go. It's just half steps, half sharp. Up to G. This one I've heard, but it's been a while. I never really thought about the Spanish March, one though. Pill makes you larger, and one pill makes you small. And the ones that mother gives you. Goes back to the relative minor, back to F sharp. Cool. And you know Tell them all bum, bum. smoking caterpillar has given you the call, call Alice. When she was just small. So it moves to A. Ask Alice. Consult with Alice. 
your patron saint. That's a really neat move, the way that she got to the higher octave. Vocally. that it's not a longer song and it's such a unique um, form for a song as well when you start low in your range like that they're going back and forth between F sharp and and uh, an A these related keys and then once they get to A and then they got into that third verse when the men on the chessboard get up and tell you where to go and you've just had some kind of mushroom and your mind is moving low go ask Alice I think she'll know. Uh, they go down to that E chord, and then that E chord then makes its way up by step. It almost moves keys up, back up to F sharp. And by the time we do that, she's risen in her range, and she's up on that F sharp up here instead of where she started at the at the beginning of the piece. And when that F sharp and A move back and forth, she can go on up, and and remember. Uh, what the Dormouse said, feed your head, y'all, and you wind up on that nice, big, kind of belt range for Grace in that higher octave. And, and then it's done. We climb the mountain, and then we put the piece to bed. Fascinating. Fascinating. I'm glad that that one made it into the list. You know, y'all, it seems that every time I go back and listen to one of these classic songs, even the ones that I know and have heard, and I do it with an intentionality to it. I've got the lyrics pulled up and I've, I've read in and I'm ready to go. They always, these songs always seem to deliver on why they remain important to us and why and how they continue to reveal really great insight for us. Just take the last verse of this uh, song. When logic and proportion have fallen sloppy dead, and the white knight is talking backwards, and the red queen's off with her head, remember what the dormouse said. Feed your head. It's just a brilliant poem. And the encouragement to overcome your adversities or these these challenges that come uh, at us in life by making ourselves better by enriching ourselves by reading by learning and uh, sharpening our skills to uh, overcome and persevere it's a wonderful wonderful message and uh, it remains a, a great rock song. I just wish it was longer. So uh, there you go, y'all. That was White Rabbit from Jefferson Airplane, originally released all the way back in 1967. And it's great to get back to this one. And uh, I, I appreciate you being with me. So we will see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug.